Hey friend, welcome back to Travel Tea and welcome to your second upper body day. I'm very impressed that you're back, especially now that you know what you're getting yourself into. But let's get into this. We're gonna start with some easy wrist circles. Ooh, how you doing? How are you feeling? Now's a great time to take a deep breath if you haven't done that yet today. We're going for all the same moves from last time, but we're building a little bit. So sometimes we'll be doing a little longer interval, I've switched up our uh, circuitry a little bit. It's gonna be fun. All right, swirling up those wrists for three, two, one. Excellent, we're gonna go down to the ground on our tummies, Ooh, hands extended out to the side. You're gonna give me a big thumbs up both ways. We're gonna squeeze the backs of the shoulders, gently peeling the shoulder blades up and away from the floor. You can lift the upper body or you can keep that forehead down, just squeeze and lower. We're here for eight. Let's do this. Squeezing, peeling up, and lowering down. Try to control the whole range of motion. Ooh, we're pushing through the air. Nice. Pinching the shoulder blades together back behind you, keeping the collarbone soft. This is always very funny, talking right to the ground, face down. <laughs> Here we go for three. Keep breathing. Thumbs up and back, last two. And last one. Excellent, we're gonna reach the hands forward. Palms are facing down. I'm reaching out, making a big old circle. When I get to the side, my thumb's gonna tilt back, tucking behind me until I can tap near my hips, tucking my hands back as far as the bow. Then I'm gonna reverse that pattern, flipping the arm in the center, coming back to the front. We're here for eight, nice and slow. I don't have a ton of room, but if you have more room than me, take it all up, touch everything. You own everything. Here we go. Reaching out, 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 make a big giant circle. Thumbs tucked down and back, bringing hands behind you. And reversing the way we came, reaching out, all the way out to the sides, bring it back to the side. Good, all the way out and around. Tuck the thumbs back. And out the way we came. Big, big, big circle. Good, this is four. Again, you can add a little lift if you like. Not necessary. Ooh, moving slow through the whole range of motion. Stay patient with it. It's so easy to rush these. And it's so much better if we just take a little bit of time to really hang out here. Let's go two more. down. Beautiful, my friends. We're going to press up to a tabletop position. Again, don't forget you can always pad your wrists up. We're going to go knees super wide, maybe even as wide as the mat, sitting back towards the heels and rocking forward over the hands. Ooh, there's a lot happening here. Shoulders, hips, wrists. So don't overlook any of it. Ooh. Sometimes we'll shy away from things because it's like, oh, this feels kind of tender in my wrist. But this is a great moment to really warm up the wrist, practice that flexion. Why? But we wouldn't just think of this as a wrist warm up. We've got some core going on, introducing the idea of plank. We're working on some hip mobility, even though it's an upper body day. It's a great time to practice those 360 degree breaths. We're going to go for a few more, and I'm going to shut up so you can listen to your body instead of to me. Coming out of this, whenever you are ready, we're gonna start with our push up to push back. Blast off push ups. 
We're gonna go for our push up, down and up. And then we're pressing back onto the heels. I gave you lots of options last time. You're more than welcome to continue to take those options, working from the knees, either keeping them down or hovering up and back. We're taking this up from an incline to take a little bit of pressure off the wrist. Either way, we're gonna go for 40 seconds here. So a little bit longer. Test how it feels this week as opposed to last week. Let's do this. We'll go in three, in two, in one. Here we go. Lowering down, pressing up and away. Now I sit back. Woo, if push-ups are feeling good and you need a little more spice out of this today, focus on smoothing it out, sanding out those edges, moving slowly through this whole range of motion. Ooh, it's a lot easier if you're not trying to talk. <laughs> good, we are more than halfway through, my friends. Play around, you don't have to stick to one option if you don't want to. We got about 10 seconds left here. Push the floor away from you for three and two and one. Excellent, we're coming up to that tabletop or you can walk your knees back but we're still keeping that angle at the hips. We're bending elbows back dipping down towards the ground, and we're pressing away. We're going right into those triceps, okay? So unlike those push-ups where we're moving the whole body as a plank, in these tricep dips, it's all about how much work we can magnify through the backs of the arms as they dig into the floor away from you. All right, here we go, my friends. In three, in two, and one. Let's do this. Elbows come back, press away. Elbows back, it's a tiny dip for me. Ooh, I'm thinking about the insides of my elbows facing forward, trying to keep my neck and chest relaxed, trying to keep my glutes relaxed so I can allow my body to tip and hinge. Good, we are more than halfway done. Ooh, spread out your fingers, grab the floor. Good, 10 seconds left. Ooh, I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. We're done in five, four, three, two, one. Nice, let it go. All right, we got a moment here to breathe. Let those noodles recharge. Woo! If you're having trouble feeling the difference between the push-up and the tricep press, again, it's very subtle. This is a great time if you wanna push yourself by a mirror or maybe even take a little video of yourself just to check it out. I always recommend that, but I don't like to watch videos of myself doing push-ups either, so I understand. But let's really focus on differentiating these two moves in the second round. This is a fun little brain game. All right, I've chatted through our break. Are you ready to go again? Let's do those blast-off push-ups. 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go in three, in two, in one. Let's get it. We dip and push. Slide it back. There's a little bit of a tap here, right? We slide back and we crouch, and then we're gonna press forward nice and strong. Down and up and away. Woo! Good. Halfway through, my friends. If you'd like to lower down in that full plank, tap your knees, press up. Woo! That's a great way to find some middle ground here. Nice. And down. We're done in five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Back to that tabletop, getting ready to get into those triceps. You could take this up from the fist as well, you know. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's do this. Bending elbows down, press away. Bending elbows down, press away. Woo! Really dig the heels of the hands into the ground. You have to let your glutes go. Let that body hinge, heart moves towards the floor, and we push through. Good, more than halfway done. Exhale, press away. Thinking about extending through the arms. As if the hands could drop right into the floor. We're done in three, in two, and one. 
and let it go. Beautiful. We're moving into our side plank series. You might remember this one from last time. This time we're going for 30 seconds, 30 seconds on the other side, and then one repeat, okay? Just so you know, so you can budget your energy. It's gonna be good. We're starting with that side plank wrap, either hips down, supported from the bottom, or taking it up from your side plank, shoulders, hips, knees in line, whatever that looks like to you. We are twisting in and we are opening up. Then we're gonna go for this cross body tricep press or any single arm tricep of your choosing. Maybe you've got a heavy water bottle <laughs> and you can go for some quadricep tricep kickbacks or practice that same press just on one side. Again, two times through, it's gonna feel like four. I'll be right there with you, it's gonna be great. All right, let's go. Setting up for our first side in three, in two, then one, and up. Excellent. Whew. I'm adding that dip and twist. Wrapping myself up like a burrito and unfurling. Thinking about keeping those shoulders stacked. The side plank can be a little trickier because, well, I think it's twice as hard as a normal plank. It's also us making that plank in space, not necessarily in relationship to the ground. Here we go. Three seconds left. In two and one, and hips down. I'm taking this top arm across my body. Woo, I'm wrapping myself up. We go in three, in two, in one. I bend the elbow, I dig into the floor. I bend the elbow, press the floor away. Moving most of the weight of your body with one arm is no joke. So it's up to you how much you're gonna take into that tricep. Bend the elbow, extend, press through the floor. Woo! And up. And down. And up. We're here for three. And two. And one. Right into the other side. We're going to keep it moving today. Keep it toasty. Little step up from last week. Here we go. Side plank. Second side. In three, two, one. And up. Nice, my friends. Now it's side plank, as long as we've got hips, knees, and shoulders stacked, okay? If you'd like to bring that bottom knee down, top leg extended. If you would like to cross those legs, widen your base just a little bit, it is all good. Thinking about shoulders and hips, facing knee nice and square. Woo, less than 10 seconds left. You're doing great. Press away from the floor. Oh, you can add that twist if you want. I completely spaced out. Here we go, three, two, one. Bring it down, wrapping up for that tricep press. Let's do this, 30 seconds on the clock. In three, in two, and one. I'm dipping down, pressing up. My hand is a little bit out away from my body, so I'm leaning towards it, because that's more comfortable for me than going all the way underneath myself, yeah? You can twist your shoulders as much as you need to, so that your body is not in the way, so that you can bend that elbow back. We got about 10 seconds left. We're doing great. Exhale, push away. We go for three and two and one. Let it go. Beautiful. All right, tiny baby break. Back to the first side. For that side plank, I'm just going to hold it, going to take out the rotation since I accidentally did that last time. <laughs> and then I'll rotate on the second side. That will be my, my bargain with myself. Okay. Last set of these side planks, you've already done it once, you can do it again. Anytime you need to tap out, take a little pause break, you do you, hop back up. We just got 30 seconds to practice. Here we go in three, in two, and one, and up. Stack it up. Nice, if you are choosing just to hold, let's find some movement with the breath. We inhale, puffing into the belly, the low back, the sides of the ribs, especially that bottom side. Ooh, we're halfway done, doing great. Make yourself big. Test the boundaries. Reach out away from you into the space. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, and gently set yourself down. Here we go. Tricep press. I'm wrapping up. We go for three, two, one. Let's do it. I bend and I stretch. Nice. I bend and I stretch. More reps is not better here, yeah? 
always an option to slow it down. Woo. Test your control through this whole range of motion. 10 seconds left. Good, down, and up for three, two, one, let it go, oh, back to that second side, I'm going back to the twist, even myself out, here we go, 30 seconds on, last little bit of side plank, in three, in two, in one, and up, oh. <laughs> good my friends. Oh, side plank just continues to stay challenging. And we continue to show up and to chip away at it and go, hey, that felt impossible. And then it felt a little more impossible. And then it felt over. And then I felt good. <laughs> Here we go, 10 seconds left. Make yourself big. Use those deep breaths to calm yourself down. I forgot to twist again. No, Laura, it's fine. We're here for three, two, one and set it down. I won't make you do it again. I'll make me do it again later. Here we go. Single arm tricep press, wrapping up across the body. Last push movement for today. We'll go in three, two, one. Here we go, dipping down, pressing away. Woo! Dipping down, pressing away. Let that elbow move back. Even if you don't dip deep, even if you just take a little pulse, Ooh, we want to let that elbow bend. It is really hard to push and to contract your muscles and to be strong. It's, I think, even harder to let yourself soften, to trust yourself to fall just a little bit before you catch it. Here we go for three and two and one. Let it go. Nicely done. All right, my friends, we are moving over back to our bellies. Last little bit, last move today. We're gonna go for one long set of 10 of those prone lying lat pulls, okay? Just a little review. We'll set ourselves down, reaching out as far as we can in front of us. I'm going to reach out, pull my chin up bar down towards me, break it across my chest, tuck my lats into my back pockets, reach back out again, slowly softening, holding onto this just a little bit, decelerating. Back to the start. We're here for 10. Try and keep that lower body relaxed. Try and keep breathing. All right, last little bit. Here we go. Are you ready? In three, in two, in one. Let's do this. Reaching out and up. Get long. Pull it back, get strong. Woo! Reaching out, slowly making my way back down to the ground. Good, pulling back, dragging some real serious weight back into you, squeezing those shoulder blades, tucking those wings away, reaching back out and down. If you can allow yourself to keep looking down at your mat, gently tucking the chin, making the back of your neck nice and long, and that to be a lot more comfortable in the long run, but that's up to you. Good, release your glutes. <laughs> I have to remind myself mentally like every 10 seconds. <sighs> Pulling back, seeing if you can pause at the top of this movement, the little screenshot. Okay, not pulling back, drag it back. Can you go one inch more, squeeze those lats just a little harder. Good, we are halfway through. Woo! And up, this is an endurance game at this point. <sighs> Staying patient with it. Ooh, moving through water, trying to relax. Four more. Nice, pulling in, dragging, dragging, dragging. We reach back out. And reaching long, pulling back. Squeeze, let it go. Here we go, last one, best one. <sighs> Pulling back as strong as you can. Almost done. Reaching out and lower. 
Excellent. Let's take just a moment here if you've got one. I'm going to walk it back to a nice little child's pose. Bring knees into chest, sitting back onto my heels, stretching out that low spine. That's probably got some tension from all those lat pulls. If you prefer, you could take hands up. You could even stand. Let's hang off the counter. Let that spine lengthen. Maybe even find a little tiny cat-cow or a little wiggle side to side. Ooh, this always feels good. This just always hits. And when you're ready, you can start to move out of it. Get ready to get back on with your life. Thank you so much for being here with me today. That was not easy. I hope you're feeling good. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.